to all members of the University of Nairobi community, ladies and gentlemen, receive my warmest greetings on this historic day. On September 7th, 1951, the precursor of the University of Nairobi, the Loyal Technical College, was granted a charter by Sir Philip Michel. About seven months later, on this day, 25th April 1952, a foundation stone for the Loyal Technical College was laid by Sir Philip Michel, Governor of Kenya and Chairman of the then East African Commission, as a tree which produced seeds which have sprouted and given rise to new life. This was a culmination of a long and wider discussion that goes back to 1947 when the government of Kenya formed a committee for the establishment of a technical institute. This idea received a big boost when a committee set up by the Gadi Memorial recommended that the memorial of Mahatma Gadi should be in the form of an institute for higher education capable of making a lasting contribution to the cultural development of East Africa. Today, as we mark this milestone, we reflect on the many good things that have come to fruition. From the groundbreaking research to influential alumni community, to cutting edge technology, no doubt the University of Nairobi has flourished and blossomed in ways that few could have imagined. From the humble beginnings as the Loyal Technical College to a leading institution of higher learning in Africa, offering a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs in various displays. The University of Nairobi has produced exceptional alumni who have gone on to become prominent figures in government, business, academia, and the other fields. These alumni have made significant contribution to the development of Kenya and the continent as a whole, serving as a testament to the quality of education over at the University of Nairobi. In addition to producing notable alumni, the University of Nairobi has also been involved in democratization of Kenya, playing a role or a crucial role in the struggle for good governance in this country and promoting human rights. The university has been home to several prisoners of conscience who have gone on to become some of the country's most prominent or respected leaders. The University of Nairobi has also had a significant impact on the community through its research and outreach programs. Through its research, the university has contributed to the understanding and the solutions of various problems, including health, veterinary science, agriculture, science and technology. The university has also been involved in community development projects, providing training and support to local communities. As we look to the future, the University of Nairobi is well positioned to tackle the challenges facing the world today. Globalization, climate change, economic depression, pandemic and the youth badge are just some of the issues that requires an urgent attention. And the University of Nairobi is committed to playing a leading role in providing solutions to these problems. Through research and innovation, the University of Nairobi, through the Wangari Madha Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies, the Institute of Climate Change and Adaptation, for example, is developing new technologies and methods that will enable us to mitigate the effect of climate change and protect the environment. The university is also training the next generation of leaders who will be equipped to address the challenges facing the world today. It is important to note that the world is changing at unprecedented pace. So are the challenges that face us. In response, the university has adopted a strategy that aims to provide innovative solutions
to today's issues. One of the key components of this strategy is the creation of an innovation ecosystem for both members of staff and students. This, this ecosystem will foster an environment and encourages creativity and entrepreneurship. We will provide the necessary support and resources to enable the student and staff to turn their ideas into successful businesses. The university recognizes that it has a large population of young people who are full of energy, ideas, talents, and potential. It is essential to tap into this resource and provide them with the tools and opportunities that need to succeed, to succeed in the rapidly evolving global economy. Through the innovative ecosystem, the university will empower young people to develop innovative solutions to the challenges facing their communities and the country, as well as the world. The innovation ecosystem will include incubation and acceleration programs, access to funding and mentorship, networking opportunities and partnerships with industry and the other stakeholders. By bringing together different actors and creating synergies between them, the ecosystem will create a fertile ground for innovation and entrepreneurship. The University of Nairobi is committed to playing a leading role in shaping the future of education and research in Africa. By embracing innovation and entrepreneurship, the university will be able to provide solutions to some of the emerging issues that are disrupting the status quo as we know it, such as climate change, the youth bug, globalization, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. We shall only focus our energies at the intellect to turn these to opportunities for wealth creation. Another critical component of university strategy is to provide solutions to today's issues, such as talent cultivation. We are committed to providing a supportive learning environment that encourages students to explore their passions, develop critical thinking skills, and pursue their goals. The universities, the university fosters a culture of excellence where students are challenged to push beyond their limits and strive for the highest level of achievement. As a university, we recognize that talent cultivation goes beyond the classroom. In this regard, we have provided students with the opportunities to develop their skills, explore their interests outside of academic settings. The university offers various extracurricular activities, including sports, clubs, and frontier programs that provide students with opportunities to build their leadership skills, network, and make a positive impact on their communities. As I conclude, let us celebrate our achievements and recognize the challenges that lie ahead of us. Together, we can build a better world that is more equitable, just, and sustainable. The University of Nairobi will continue to play a leading role in this endeavor. Thank you, and God bless you richly.